Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will understand the MCQ questions of Financial Education and Investment Awareness paper. This is the SEC 2 paper, Skill Enhancement 2 paper. Under the NEP scheme, it is given for all undergraduate courses for 3rd and 4th semester. BCA, BBA, BSc students learn this paper in 3rd semester, whereas BA, BCom and BSW student learn this subject in 4th semester of their respective courses. This is 2023 paper. The exams which will be held in the month of April, May. Uh, this was the paper for the third semester students of BCA, BBA and BSc. The same paper exams will be conducted for the fourth semester BA, uh, BCom and BSW students. So this is Gulbarga University Gulbarga paper and uh, duration is given 90 minutes for uh, 30 questions. So maximum 30 marks will be there and you will be getting the MCQ. So before uh, answer the question and darken the circle, you need to read the following instructions very carefully and uh, thereafter start darken the circle on your OMR sheet. Now, let us start with the first question that is uh, GDP measures dash. As we know that GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product and this Gross Domestic Product is the total monetary value of all finished goods and services produced within a country's border in a specific time period. So therefore the right answer for this question is the all of the above because monetary value of final goods and services monetary value of goods and monetary value of services so all these are included hence the option d is the right answer for this question the second is money at present is worth than the same amount in future is known as time value of money time of money or value of money or none of these so this is the concept and uh, the right answer is time value of money. The time value of money is a simple concept that money available in the present is worth more than the same amount of money in the future. So therefore option A time value of money is the right answer. Coming to the third question that is land, labor, capital and internship, entrepreneurship are known as. So, means whether it is a type of uh, production or factors of productions or the form of production or measures of production. So the right answer is factor of production. So land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship are known as the factor of production. And these factors of productions are the resources that are the building blocks of the any country's economy. So therefore we say that these land, labor, capital, entrepreneurships are the resources and uh, these resources are the building blocks of the economy so hence the option b is the right answer coming to the question number four dash technique is used to calculate the future value of a present cash flow so which technique we use to calculate the future value of the present cash flow whether it is uh, discounting or compounding or future value or none of these so the technique which we use is the compounding technique and this compounding technique is used to calculate the future value 
of a present cash flow so based on the present cash flow we will find out the future value of the cash by using the compounding technique question number 5 that is c a g r c a g r stand for we can say stand for or expand the c g uh, c a g r so what is c a g r whether it is compounded annual growth rate or compounded growth uh, form growth rate or compounded measure growth rate or none of the above the right answer is compound annual growth rate here they mention compounded annual growth rate so as far as the right option is concerned compounded annual growth rate that is option a for question number 5 is the right answer and this compounded annual growth rate is a business and investing specific term for a, a geometric progression ratio that provide a constant rate of return over the time period question number 6 what is mean by dpi or uh, we can say the meaning or the definition or the full form of dpi dpi means dash option a disposable personal income or option b disposable performance income or option c disposable part income or option d none of the above uh, first of all let me tell you the dpi means it is a disposable personal income and uh, this disposable personal income is the amount of money it is the amount of money that an individual or any household has to spend or save after the income tax have been deducted whatever the amount which we save after income tax have been deducted uh, deducted that uh, remaining or saved amount of the individual or household is called as disposable personal income coming to the seventh question the seventh question is the term bank derived from french word so which is the right word option a banco option b barco option c borco option d bank so the term bank der derived from french word is actually b a n q u e bank u so there is no such option given in the seventh question but uh, similar word is there banco so we can go with the banco word that is option a but the right answer is b a n q u e this is the french word for the bank okay coming to the next one next is the imperial bank was established in the year dash so which year the imperial bank was established options are uh, 1921 1931 1941 and 1951 so it is one of the oldest and uh, largest commercial bank of the indian subcontinent and uh, this bank today we known as sbi state bank of india and uh, this older name of the sbi we can say that the old name of sbi was the imperial bank and which was established on 27th january 1921 so right option is option a 
and it is the oldest and the largest commercial bank of the indian subcontinent because uh, india bangladesh pakistan was uh, not separated that time so that's what we are saying that uh, indian subcontinent uh, uh, bank one of the uh, largest commercial bank okay and uh, it was subsequently uh, transfer transform into the sbi in 1955 the next question question number 9 question number 9 is banking regulation act established in dash so we have to uh, find out the year in which year the bank regulation act established so option a 1949 b 59 C sixty nine and D seventy nine. After the independence, uh, the banking regulation because banks were uh, operational even though uh, during independence. So that's what the nineteen forty nine is the right answer. So banking regulation act established in the year of nineteen forty nine in the. 1949 16th march 1949 banking regulation act established coming to the next question question number 10 acceptance of deposit and giving the loans and advances are dash of banks means we need to find out uh, whether it is the type acceptance of deposit and giving loans and advances are the types or the functions or the need of a bank or none of the above the right answer is the functions so these all are the functions accepting the deposit or giving the loans and advances are the functions of the bank the right answer is option b for the question number 10 functions the next one is very simple you might heard so many times in newspapers news magazines etc the full form of pmjdy pmjdy right so this uh, pmjdy is a pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana option b is the right answer we know that uh, our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi has uh, launched this pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana right so the main objective of uh, this uh, pm jdy is to ensure the access to various financial services like availability of basic saving bank account and access to need the based credit and remittance facility and insurance pension to the excluded section what is mean by that excluded section that excluded section is nothing but the weaker section or the low income groups so therefore uh, honorable prime minister has started this uh, pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana so this is the one basic saving bank account is opened for unbanked person so many peoples has opened their bank account which are called as zero bank account or zero balance uh, account so there is no requirement to maintain any minimum balance in pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana account okay so coming to the next question so next question is question number 12 the full form of dbt we know that uh this uh, dbt right so dbt full form is what is the full form options are direct benefit transfer direct born transfer direct best transfer none of the above right so these are the some of the options given the right option is option a that is uh, direct benefit transfer right so this uh, a uh, dbt is uh, launched in the year of 
2013 by the government of india directly to transfer the benefits to the underprivileged populations and right now uh, 34 i think uh, cent- uh, central government schemes are covering this uh, dbt so uh, government of karnataka has also announced uh, 170 rupees for uh, bpl card holders instead of giving 5 uh, kg of rice they are uh, transferring the amount 170 rupees for each family member so that is uh, under this uh, dbt so direct uh, uh, benefit transfer okay so coming to the next question the next question next question is the 13th question right so 13th question is atm you might heard so many times this atm and uh, you might have used also so atm is a automated teller machine so automated teller machine means the right option is option b automated teller machine right and uh, instead of uh, going to bank and withdrawing the money or checking the balance even to transfer the funds we can do all these with the help of atm so we use atm machines those are called as automated teller machines okay so the next question next question is ai right so okay this is the 14th question ai full form of ai you might heard ai is nothing but artificial intelligence and this artificial intelligence is the intelligence of machines or a software right as opposed to the intelligence of human beings it's kind of machines or it's kind of software right and those software and machines uh, uh, mimic the problem solving and decision making capabilities as like the human do right so right option for this uh, 14th question is option a artificial intelligence okay question number 15 electronic clearing service is known as so here a short form is given right uh, we need to find out uh, the short form short form of electronic clearing service so what is electronic clearing service so electronic clearing service is e c s ECS is the right option right uh this is a mode of electronic fund transfer from one bank account to another bank account so which is called as electronic clearing service the next question is also related to uh, such a fund transfer right uh, electronic fund transfer that is uh, r t g s right i am saying the right answer r t g s uh, real time gross settlement is uh, also known as r t g s so here here also the right option is option a question number 16th uh, right answer is r t g s not r t s s or not r m p s or r i s s the right answer is r t g s real time gross settlement and uh, rtgs system is a fund transfer mechanism right so this is a fund transfer mechanism where the transfer of money takes place from one bank to another on real time basis hence the name given real time and gross basis okay so this is the fastest possible money transfer system through the banking channel so we make rtgs to transfer the fund from one uh, bank account to another bank account okay okay the next one is unified payments interface is known as which one is called as unified payment interface upi the right option is upi not 
U double P or U P Z or U P S. The right option is option A U P I, which is called as Unified Payments Interface, and this is the instant payment system developed by National Payment Corporation of India. N P C I has developed this U P I system. Okay, and uh, this interface facilitates the interbank. peer to peer and person to a merchant transaction so we use the upi apps on our smartphones and these applications are like uh, phone pay google pay right so we use uh, these apps and uh, these apps allows uh, any user to transfer the money between the banks okay next question number 18 that is uh, economic industry and company analysis is known as right uh, again the right option is e i c option a is the right answer e i c economic industry and company analysis is also called as e i c okay next is national electronic fund transfer is known as neft nit nees n e f f nef so which is the right option for question number 19 the right option is neft that is national electronic fund transfer this national electronic fund transfer is also an interbank and inter branch online fund transfer within india okay so coming to the next uh, 20th question the 20th question is nav full form what is nav is it uh, net asset value or option b net arm value or option c net a broad value or is it option d none of the above the right answer is net asset value option a this net asset value it is the performance of a mutual fund scheme is uh, denoted by the net asset value per unit means for the mutual fund scheme this nav is used net asset value okay so coming to the 21st question question number 21 that is amc amc full form uh amc means uh, sometimes we say that uh, annual maintenance contract also right uh, but uh, according to this uh, financial education and uh, investment uh, management amc stands for asset management company it is a asset management company option a that is asset management company question number 22 sharpe and uh, trinor are the dash of mutual funds option a performance measures or these two are the types or these two are the portfolio measures or none of the above the right answer is option a that is performance measures sharpe and uh, trinor are the performance measures of mutual funds coming to the similar kind of question question number 23 sharpe ratio uses dash as measures of risk whether it uh, uses standard deviation or alpha or beta or gamma the right option is option a standard deviation sharpe ratio uses standard deviation as measures of risk so sharpe ratio Trinor ratio. These all are related to the mutual fund, and uh, these are used to measure the risk. And for that, the standard deviation is used. 
okay coming to the 24th question that is c a p m c a p m full form what is the c a p m is it capital asset pricing model or is it capital arm pricing model or is it cost asset pricing model or none of the above here the capital asset pricing model is the right answer that is option a capital asset pricing model and it is a financial model that calculates the expected rate of return for an asset or investment right so it measures this model c a p m is a financial model and this model is used to calculate the expected rate of return for an asset or investment which we make okay so coming to the n s e you might been heard uh, this name n s e that is uh, national stock exchange again the option a is the right answer it is not national state exchange or national smart exchange it is a national stock exchange nse full form is national stock exchange and this this is the first exchange that was introduced to enhance the trading facility in electronic form in india we say the share market so share market means nse so national stock exchange and this uh, this enhance the trading facility in india in electronic form okay and this uh, national stock exchange offers the various facility for trading settlement services and etc okay okay so coming to the 26th question the difference between schemes actual return and its optimal return is known as is it alpha or beta or ca pm right now only we seen capital asset pricing model capm or nse national stock exchange so the difference between the schemes actual return and its optimal return is known as alpha right option is alpha okay question number 27 systematic and non systematics are the dash of risk uh, it is very uh, simple in the risk we find only two types of risk and those two types of risk are called uh, systematic risk and non systematic risk so option a that is the types is the right answer for 27th question okay coming to 28th question liquidity and tax savings are the secondary object of investment whether it is true or false yes or no or we can't say or none of the above right answer is yes liquidity and tax savings are the secondary object objectives of investment okay okay so coming to the next ipo full form what is mean by ipo so ipo whether it is initial public offer or initial form offer or initial pub offer or none of the above uh, it's a initial public offering uh, there is only offer given offering uh, it's a initial public offering right uh, so this initial public offering can be defined as the process in which the private company or any corporate can become a public by selling a portion of its stake to the investors they may become the ipo initial public offering so it is a kind of stock launch is a public offering which uh, shares a companies uh company are sold to institutional investors or usually also to retail investors 
which is called as ipo which is used in the stock market for the stocks okay okay coming to the last question new issue market is known as what is mean by new issue market is it option a primary market or is it option uh, b secondary market or option c stock market or option d share market which is the right answer uh, new issue market uh, is called as primary market a new issue is uh, reference to a security that has been registered issued and is being sold on market to the public for the first time and uh, issuer may be new company or any existing company so therefore new issue market is the primary market okay so this is all about the financial education and investment awareness so the same kind of questions you will be getting in the fourth semester of uh, ba bcom and bsw courses so this is all about from this paper this is the third semester bca bba and bsc course paper this uh, exam is uh, conducted in the month of april may so any doubts for any kind of query you can uh, write in the comment line if you have not liked my channel so far so kindly like share and comment and subscribe my channel for the latest videos thank you for watching